Tensions between the United States and China are on the rise, with both countries imposing their presence over waters near artificial islands built by China in the South China Sea. The U.S. says it has a right to be in the area and doesn't recognize China's claim of sovereignty. Neither side seems ready to back down. Our Connie Kim tells us more. A top U.S. defense official says a freedom of navigation operations by the United States should not be viewed as a threat to any nation after the U.S. challenged China's claims to artificial island it's building in the South China Sea. U.S. Pacific Command Commander Admiral Harry Harris said Tuesday during a trip to China, Washington has been conducting freedom of navigation operations all over the world for decades, so no one should be surprised by them. He also reiterated that the U.S. takes no position on competing sovereignty claims to land features in the area. Underscoring the U.S. assertion, a U.S. defense official had said Tuesday, the U.S. Navy plans to conduct patrols within the 12 nautical mile limit about twice a quarter. Tensions between Washington and Beijing escalated last week after an American destroyer sailed within 12 nautical miles, or 20 kilometers, of the man-made islands China claims. 12 nautical miles around a territory is internationally recognized as sovereign territory, but the U.S. does not recognize China's claim to artificial islands in the area. The Spratleys are a disputed group of more than 750 reefs, islets, atolls, caves, and islands claimed by China and four other countries, including Vietnam and the Philippines. Beijing has so far held firm on its stance, saying it'll never allow any country to violate its territorial waters and airspace in the area. In a meeting with former U.S. Secretary of State Henry Kissinger on Monday, Chinese President Xi Jinping said the two countries should deal with the issue from a strategic position seen as indirect pressure on Washington to back down. In an apparent response to the U.S. challenge, China's Navy reportedly sent fighter jets over the Spratleys on Friday after the U.S. sailed by. Retired Chinese General Xu Guangyu noted that it's the minimum level of response China should have, or it'll fall short of public expectations. Connie Kim, Arirang News.